provide those with special needs. The schools provide the only space available for families for exercise and gather. All other communities' spaces have long waiting lists. So I'm going to pass on Shelly. Hi, my name is Charlene Dunstan. I am one of the co-chairs of the Centers for Public Education, which was formed in response to the recent attacks that we've had on our education system by the federal government. And I use the word attack because that's what it feels like for the families, the children, and the broader sort of implications that this, these kinds of um, cuts will have on us. What we need to really keep in mind is this is not an issue just for people who have children who are in the, um, in the system right now. We need to remember that as employers, as workers, these are the people who are going to be working alongside us. Their educational experience will impact us for a long time coming. So while even the fact that I have children in um, high school right now who will be out of this part of the system um, in just a few years, the impact for them and the impact for me will still resonate. For them, I worry about what are they going to be prepared for coming out of cuts like this. For me as a post-secondary educator, I worry about the quality of the experience that my students will have coming into post-secondary. Will they actually be prepared? Will I actually be, be able to prepare them for the workforce? As employers, you need to keep this in mind. As grandparents, as people who are service users, service providers, we need to understand that this is not just an issue for um, for just